Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to continue talking about data tables. Specifically, we're going to talk about how we can import and export them as JSON files or as CSV, comma separated values. Now, CSV is just a form of spreadsheet, and JSON files are JavaScript. If we come over to our existing data table and right click on it, and we go to reimport, you'll see that it's grayed out. That's because there's no association with an imported file. You know, so if we even want to create another data table, right, and we base it on the structure that we made, we say OK, and we right click, right, you're still not going to be able to re import or associate this. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our data table and we're going to export as a CSV and we're going to call this CSV test. 01, and we'll also export a JSON, and we're going to call this JSON test 01. And now, if we go and look at the files that we saved, we can try and open these up. Now, the JSON file, this is just code, you know, so you can just open this up with any text editing software. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to open this up with Notepad. And right away, you can see that our data table format is there. So if I wanted to add another row to this, I could just go and copy and we'll add this just in the middle just because we can and I'm going to change the name to JSON and in mesh I'm going to remove everything that isn't quotations and I'm going to do the same thing in material and we'll just change the tag to say JSON with lowercase and we'll just file save and now back in Unreal, we can import this. So we'll right click and we'll choose import and we'll choose our JSON test. And now anytime that you import your JSON file or CSV, you're gonna need to pick the structure that it's built from. So in our case, that was struct nice. And we'll say apply. And if we open this up, we can see that we have our new row name. Now say that you added something that wasn't valid. So say that we actually changed our material to say turtle and we save that. We come back to Unreal and we're going to click on reimport. So in this case, it's going to yell at you both for having the wrong property because that property doesn't exist, right? Your structure doesn't have turtle as a variable. And it's also going to yell at you for not filling in one of those categories, one of those existing variables, like material in this case. Now, it can be empty with quotation marks, but if you don't have it there to begin with, you're going to get yelled at. So that's JSON. Now, let's go look at CSV. So in my case, I'm going to use Google Spreadsheets. And if we take our CSV test and we put it in here, we can open this up as a spreadsheet. Now, if you just double click this, right, it's just gonna show you the representation of it. But if we open with Google Sheets, it's gonna open it up. Now, what's really nice about this is that we can pretty easily make new rows. You know, so if we just call this, you know, we'll call this new one CSV. And in B, what we're gonna do is we'll say equals and we're gonna make it equal B2, right? B2. And for our material, we're gonna say that this is equal to C3, right? So we've just flipped it. And the tag, we'll just say that this is CSV. And now if we just go to file, download, we can download this as a CSV. So if you know your way around spreadsheets, you pretty easily start to add different formulas, different automations, and you can just import this into your project or just re-import it. So back in Unreal, we're going to import our CSV test, and we're going to choose our struct, and we'll say apply. If we go ahead and open this up, we can see that this worked. 
So when you export it as a CSV, it kind of bakes down all of those formulas. So in this case, right, we made the CSV mesh the same as the sphere, and we made the material the same as the cube. But you can see that these are working. And if we go to our CSV data table, we can see that we can re-import it. We can re-import it with a new file. And you can do the same thing with the JSON file. All right, guys, I hope this gave you a good idea for how you can import and export these and the kind of workflow that might work for you. But if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.